Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, everyone? How are you, people? Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome to one more session. How are you on vacation? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was your vacation? Teacher, why did you? How was the vacation? Was it good? Good vacation? Very good. Was very good, yes. Did you go to the beach? I working. Yeah, you were working. The complete, <laughs> the complete vacation? No. Yes. <laughs> so no vacation, no time for vacation. Nada. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, we're going to remember here about what we studied before going to vacation. Remember that we were studying about the numbers and the syllable stress. But we didn't finish with the video. We didn't watch the video. So let's watch it here. Check here, there is some problem with the video. All right, we have some problem with the video there, but we are going to practice it then. Now, let's remember more about the numbers. We have here, let's revise the numbers. So let's see, do remember about them? We have from 11, then we have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, Remember that here we repeat the routine, right? Like 21, 22, 23, until you arrive to 30. Then 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And what about this one? Do you remember how you pronounce it? 100. 100, perfect. And I'd like to you continue the same routine, like 101, 102, until 199. And then you have, right? Or 1,000, right? Yes. So you got this one, 1,000. Or also you have, you have 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. And we were practicing, right? Some of the numbers. So let's remember here, we're going to write some numbers. For example, let me write this one. Let me see. Rene, what number is this? What number is this? Seventy six. Seventy six. Thank you. Very good. That's nice. Right now, let's see. Veronica, Maricela, what number is this? One hundred three. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's see another one. Miguel Antonio, what number is this? Uh, 3,000. 300? 300? Ah, 306. That's correct. Very good. Angelica. <laughs> Let me see. This one. Ah, confundido. 
<laughs> it's only one zero, right? One zero is the hundreds that you have because it's only three numbers. Mm. Angelica, what number is this? Uh, 200 and 208. Eight. That's correct. Very good. Gen C, Alexandra. What about this number? What number is this? Seventeen one. Seventeen. That's correct. Let me see who continues. Oscar. What number is this? Oscar? Oscar? Maybe the microphone? Okay, no, no se escucha. We cannot hear. One hundred ten. Ten, excellent. Thank you. That's good. Okay. Jessica Esmeralda. Okay. Thank you very much. What number is this, Jessica Esmeralda? Hello, Jessica. Is not present, Jessica. All right, Juan Antonio, what number is this? Hello, Juan Antonio. Yancy Ramos, are you there? Hello. Hola. Hello, Yancy. What number is this? 78. Eight. That's good. Great. That's good. Let's see. Lucy. What number is this? Lucy, are you there? Not Lucy. Sandra Marisol. 69. Six and nine, very good. Okay, now let's see. Sixty-nine. Got sixty-nine. Let's see now, Kevin. What number is this? Kevin. Seventy-six. Six, excellent, Seven. that's right. 76, that's correct. Okay, Jessica, Vanessa. What number is that? Twenty-six. Twenty-six, perfect, that's good. All right, let's see, Joaquin. What number is this? Fifty-four. I'm sorry, can you repeat? 34. 34, that's all right, good one. 34. 34, that's right, good one. Okay, 30, let's continue. 34. Great, that's nice. Luis Antonio. What number is this? 15. 15. 15. 15. That's correct. Excellent. All right. Now let's see Carlos Arturo. What number is this? 70. 70. 70. Excellent job, guys. That's good. You have practiced. All right. So let's remember that in the case of the numbers, you have until 100. Right, 100, you have 101, 102, 103, 
104, 105, and you continue, right? And then you finish until 1,000. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and we know that numbers never finish, right? They are infinite. Now, as we practice about the numbers, now we can say our age. Like, how old are you when we practice uh, for that question? So let's see here. To be plus age. So we continue practicing with the verb to be. So let's revise here about those cases. When you want to express your age, you have the verb to be plus the number of the age, and then you have the phrase years old. For example, you say, I am 23 years old. You are 16 years old. He is 32 years old. Mary is 45 years old. So let's remember here that you have the subject to be, and then you have a complement, right? So let's see, Oscar, read the next one, please. You have years old is optional. You can say, read it, please, the example. I am? I am? Mm -hmm. 18? 18 years old. Very good. I am nice. 18 years old. Excellent, mm -hmm. thank you. And you have another option. You can also say, I am 18. So you can I finish am 18. 18, excellent, that's correct. So you can finish until the number. Then it says, but years plus old are always together. So these are ones that are correct. For example, I am 21. That's okay, you're saying the age. I am 21 years, that is not correct. If you want to use years, it's necessary to use together with years old. I am 21 years old. So you need to say complete or only with the numbers. So tenemos dos opciones para decir la edad. Llegamos hasta el número de nuestra edad o podemos completarlo con years old. Pero es incorrecto decir nada más hasta years. So here you have, you can write the age as numbers or as words. So I am 12 years old. You have the number, or you have it in letters. I am 12 years old. The pronunciation is the same, right? Just that when you write it, is that you're writing numbers or in letters. Now, when you have the other form, he is 40 years old. That is for third person, right? You are referring to the age of another person. But we use the subject, the verb be, and the complement. In the case of she, say she is 36. The boy is 12. The baby is five months old. The dog is three years old. The grandfather is 71 years old. So here we have a good practice with the numbers. Now, here, very important to say about the, with the babies. Said so with babies, you can use month instead of years. Meses. Entonces, ya no utilizamos years old, sino month or incluso días de nacido. You can use month old. So, like this the baby is four months old. He is nine months old. That is in the case of babies. Now here it says, be careful. In English, we use the verb to be and not another verb. So you remember we mentioned that to express the age, we don't say, I have 18. Yo tengo 18 años. All right. We need to uh, conjugate the verb to be. So this is incorrect. I have 18, no. I have 18 years, no. I have 18 years old, no. Correct. I am 18 years old. Or I am 18. Now, let's practice it. But here you have with the question, how do you investigate the age? How old are you? I am 
right? And you say the number and you complete with your thoughts. So let's start. Let's see, Joaquin. Joaquin, how old are you? I am. I am 20, 24 years old. Yes, so that's good. So you can say, I am the complete, or you can say contraction, like I'm. Um, um. You can say, yeah, 24, I right? Am. I am. I am. I am. Uh -huh. I am. And it was years old. Years old. All right, that's good. Okay, years now old. years old. Very good. Oscar, years you old. formulate the question to Lucy. Formulate the question. How old are you? <laughs> I am 29 years old. 29 years old. All right. Good. Now let's formulate the question. Ahora formulemos la pregunta. Lucy, you formulate the question to Carlos Arturo. How old are you? Repeat the question. And Carlos How answers. Old are you? How old are you, Carlos? Uh -huh. I am 33 years old. That's good. Okay. Now, Rene, you formulate the question to Jensi, Alexandra. How are, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I am. Mm -hmm. I am eighteen years old. Very good job. That's nice. Brenda, Tania, formulate the question to Veronica. Brenda, hello. Okay, Jessica. No escuchamos. Can you repeat it, please, Brenda? Brenda, can you please repeat it? ¿Cuál de todas las Jessicas? <laughs> oh, yes, it's true. Jessica Rivas. <laughs> How old are you, Jessica? Uh, very good. Okay. How old are you, Jessica? Jessica Rivas? I'm 20 years old. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Now let's see. Joaquin, you formulate the question to Veronica Maricela. <laughs> Joaquin? Joaquin, are you present? No? Joaquin? Okay, Veronica, you formulate the question to Jessica Esmeralda. The question, how old are you? Veronica? How old are you? That's good. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda, answer. Jessica Esmeralda. Are you there? Buenas noches, teacher. Hello. Good evening. We have the answer. How old are you? Teacher, yeah. Hello. Okay, Juan Antonio, can you answer please? How old are you? I 45 years old. I am, I am. I am 45 years old. Years old. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Old. That's all right. Good. Angelica, you formulate the question to Sandra Marisol. Uh, 
Um, how, old, how old are you? How old are you? That's good. Sandra Marisol, answer please. I'm 27. I am. I am. 27 years old. Correct. Right. Good one. Luis Antonio, now you formulate the questions to Carlos Arturo. How old are you? Good. Carlos Arturo, answer. I am 33 years old. Correct. Right. Excellent. Kevin Orlando, formulate the question to Lucy. How old are you? How old are you? I am 24 years old. That's very good, very nice, all right. Kevin, you formulate the question to Jancy Ramos. How old are you? How old are you? Good, Jancy? How old are you? How old are you? Jancy? I'm 12. I am? I am? Year old. And the number? El número de la edad. Yes. I am. I am. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Twenty. Twenty. I am twenty. Years old. Ye years old. Uh -huh. I am twenty years, years old. old. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Now let's continue with. Here we have, a, let's check if now it's possible to listen to the audio. No, there is some Okay, we're going to practice it from here about the ages. So time to practice it. We have how old are they? So we're going to observe the people here and they have different ages. For example, here, this is Joy and he, you're going to complete. How do you complete here with the age? He is. Mm -hmm. He is. Excellent. Five months. Uh, look, it has one candle. One candle. Yes. It's only one mm -hmm. candle. Look. Come on. One candle. Tiene una velita acá. Yes. So he, is, uh -huh. he is Excellent. one year old. One, one year old. All right. So let's write it here. He is one year old. Okay. As in the case that is only one, then we don't say years because it's no plural. It's only one. One year old. Let's continue here. One year old. One year old, correct. What about the next one? It says, these are my friends, Tom and Sam. They are excellent because now it's plural. They are how many candles? Let's count them. Uh -huh. How many? Count them. No. Let me check. Fifteen. Fifteen. I think they are fifteen, right? You have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, they are fifteen. So how old are they? They are fifteen. Uh -huh. fifteen they are fifteen, 15 years. years old. They are fifteen years old. That's correct. Very good. Okay, so they are fifteen years old. 
Okay. What about this one? This is Amy. She. And how do you complete? She is seven years old. Excellent. She is seven years old. That's good. Seven years old. Perfect. Seven years old. What about this one? This is Benjamin. He. He is nine, nine years old. Uh -huh. Nine is nine, four, six, eight, nine. Yes, that's good. Year old. Excellent. Okay, let's see the next one. This is Mrs. Taylor. Mrs. Taylor. She, she is. Excellent. She is 60 uh -huh. years old. 60 years old. Excellent. 60 years old. Very nice. All right. Now, what about this guy? This is Alfred. He, he is three, three years old. Excellent. He is three years old. That's all right. Okay. Now we're going to read them. Let's see the first one. This is Joy. Here is missing the is, right? Is. Yes. Okay, so let's repeat it. From here, Rene Cruz, you read this one, please. This is Joy. He is one year old. Rene, can you read the first one, please? This, this, is, Joy. this is Joy. He is huh? one year old. One year old. Very good. Thank you. Oscar Mesa. Continue. These are my friends, Tom and Sam. They are 15 years old. Uh, repeat me. Yes. These are my friends, Tom and Sam. They mm -hmm. are 15 years old. This are my friend, Tom and Sam. They are mm -hmm. they are 15 years old. They are 15 years old. Thank you. Very good. Jancy Alessandra. This is Amy. She is seven years old. He is. This is. He uh, is. This is. Amy. Amy. He is Amy. She is seven years old. Very good job. Nice. Miguel Antonio, continue, please. This is Benjamin. He is nine years old. This is Benjamin. He is nine years old. Pretty good. Lucy, continue. This is Mrs. Taylor. She is 16 years old. This is Mr. Mrs. Taylor. Mrs. Mrs. This is Mrs. Taylor. She is 60 years old. Very good job. That's nice. Right? Let's go on. Brenda Quintanilla, continue. This is Alfred. He is three years old. This is Alfred. He is very three. Three years old. Years old. Three years old. That's good. Three years old. Okay. Three years old. Nice. That's three years good. Old. Okay, now let's assign let's assign names. Okay, for example, this girl. Let's suppose that this girl's name is Sally. How old is Sally? She How old? is. Uh -huh. She is. She is fourteen years old. Yeah, fourteen. All right. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, seven. Excellent. Is right, we can make a contraction also. She is 14 years, years old. Very good. Okay, now let's assign then another name. Let's suppose that this one is Robert. How old is Robert? How old is Robert? 
He is 35 years old. Perfect. That's correct. He is 35. He's 35 years old. Excellent. That's correct. 35 years old. All right. Let's see the last one. Let's suppose that this one is Carla. How old is Carla? How old is she Carla? She is five years old. Perfect. She is five years she old. She is five years old. Really good. Year old. That's good. And now we have it complete there. She is five years old. Years old. That's good. Okay. Jessica Vanessa, let's repeat, please. The first one. We're going to repeat this one. How old is Sally? Jessica Rios? Hello. She is 14 years old. That's correct. Good one. Joaquin. How old is Robert? Old is Robert is 35 years old. Good one. He's 35 years old. That's good. Veronica, how 35. old is Carla? 30. 30. She is five years old. Very good. That's nice. Okay, now let's make another practice. Now let's investigate about other persons. Let's see. Um, Joaquin, Joaquin de Jesus, how old is your father? Um, how old is your father? Mi, ¿Cuánto años tiene mi papá? Ajá, correct. How old is your mm. father? De, de, el, de es él, ¿verdad? No, he. he. Remember, he, they es de ellos. Uh, he. Ah, sí. He, he is, uh, he is uh, uh, 74. 74. All right. 74, 74. you mean this number, right? 74. 74. Okay, that's good. Now, let's see. Uh, Brenda, you formulate the questions to Jessica Rivas and investigate. Investigamos en la edad de, de otra persona. Like, how old is your mother? How old is your sister? Your brother? Your best friend? Okay, how old is your sister? Your sister. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yes. How old is your sister? Right. Jessica Rivas? She is. Mm -hmm. She is. She is? Jessica Rivas? Hello, hello. Es que escucho un poco cortado. ¿Me podría repetir? Sure. Brenda, can you please repeat? Well, how, your how, sister, old, how old well, your is, sister. is your sister? How old is your sister? Well, your sister. How old is your sister? Is your sister. All right, very good. All right, ready, Camilo? Can you hear? Okay. My sister, mm -hmm. My okay. sister. Uh -huh. eh, sería personal o yes. cómo? Yes, 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 it's personal. Sí. You like ah, okay. answer, right? My sister is. Okay. Or My is? sister. My sister is twelve years old. Twelve years old. Okay, that's good. Okay, now let's see. Twelve years old. Veronica, you formulate the questions to Jessica Esmeralda. What is your How old is grandmother? Your grandmother. Okay, that's good. How old is your grandmother? Jessica Esmeralda? Hello? Jessica? Okay, Juan Antonio, how old is your grandmother? Um, my grandmother is the 
Leal. Is ah okay. We sorry. All right now, Juan Antonio, now yeah, formulate the question. Now you formulate the question to Angelica. How old is? Uh, how old is uh, your sister, Angelica? Okay. Year old. Year old. Year old. How old is your sister? Uh huh. How old is your sister? Uh, she is. Um. Uh, twenty-two oh. years old. Years old. That's correct. Good one. Kevin, you formulate the question to Catherine Rebecca. Kevin. Formulate the question. Like how old is? Okay. Um. How are how old how are, how, how old uh -huh. you how old is is your boyfriend your friend okay how old is your friend all right Rebecca that's it in Rebecca el teacher piensa que yo casi no he escuchado bien la clase porque como no estoy en la clase y así medio se me corta entonces es poco lo que le he escuchado. Ok, ok. Now let's see, Carlos Arturo, then. Um, how old is your, is your friend? How old is your friend? Ajá, uh -huh. how old is your friend? So, answer. Chancy Ramos, can you answer, please? <laughs> How old is your friend? Hello? Chancy? <clears throat> All right, Sandra Marisol. How old is your friend? He is 22 years old. 22 years old. All right. Okay, very good. Nice. Now, let's continue here with more practice. But first, we need to pass the attendance list. Just tell me if you are present. Let's see, Alicia Maribel. Angelica Maria. Angelica Maria, are you present? Yes. All right. Thank you. Brenda Marcela. Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Jessica Saray. Jessica Saray. I work until 5:45, but I can meet you at six on the corner of First Avenue Jesus. and Main Street. What do you yes, think? You. There is another presentation, right. but it will be on Sunday, and I can Te escucho como eh, si están dando otra clase. Thank you, thank you. Present. Thank you. Catherine Rebecca. Kevin Orlando. Present. Thank you. Loida Citali. 
Loida. Luis Antonio. Present. Thank you. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. Maria Inés. Marvin Manuel. Marvin. Miguel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Oscar Isaú. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Reina Isabel. René Alfonso. Present. Thank Present. you. No, it was Alfonso, no Alonso, right? I said it correct. Yes, Alfonso. <laughs> That's good. Sandra Marisol. Thank you. Verónica Marisela. Presente. Very good. Thank you. Jancy Yamilex. Present. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Jensi. Remember Jensi, I saw you. Jessica. Jessica Esmeralda. Jessica. Present. Thank you. And Jessica Vanessa. Jessica Rivas. Present. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Let's go ahead then. Let's continue here. Uh, now, let's go ahead with our WH. Remember that we studied about the yes, no questions. But now let's see about the WH. WH questions. In the ones, we are going to study about a specific question. When you investigate, for example, in this case, WH question words. We know we have different manners to investigate, but depends what you need to know. For example, with who, when we use who, it says it is used to ask about a person or people. So you investigate referring a person. For example, who is your favorite actor? Tell me, who is your favorite actor? Keanu Reeves, if it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mel Gibson, who is your favorite actor? Oscar, tell me. Um, uh, Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. And Bruce, Lee. Uh -huh. Bruce Willis. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's your favorite actor. Good. Okay, now yeah. tell me. That's good. Okay, action movies, right? <laughs> That's good. Okay, Jessica, Jessica Esmeralda, yeah. who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite actor? Jessica, Jessica Hernandez. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, the question is who is your favorite actor? <laughs> Hello, do you have a favorite actor? Uh -huh. No tengo Ooh. favorito. Liga. You don't have a favorite? Okay, no. that is good. Or what about a movie? Do you have a favorite movie? Yes. ¿Cuál es, cuál es tu película favorita? Uh -huh. Do you have a favorite movie? Jessica, do you have a favorite movie? Or not? No? Hi. Hello. All right, Lucy. Lucy, tell me who is your favorite actor? Uh, my favorite actor is David Cepeda. Ah, okay. Is he Mexican or where? 
Where is he in, from? In Mexico. All right, he's from Mexico. All right, interesting. That's good. Okay, now let's see. Jancy Ramos. Now, who is your favorite actor? Yancy? Did you hear? Yancy, Yancy? Uh, Jessica Vanessa? My favorite actor is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yeah, that's a very good actor. Yeah, he has a lot of movies, very good movies, actually. What about you, Rene Cruz? Who is your favorite actor? Do you have a favorite actor? Yo, a mí. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Who is your es favorite que, actor? Oh, you can see Janet. Oh, um, <laughs> my favorite actor favorite? is Johnny. My favorite actor is, is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, yeah, that's good. He's a very good actor. Good. Okay, so observe that with who we investigate the person, right? Only the person. What about with what? With what we investigate things. It is used when asking for information, but it's for things, right? Not for persons. For example, what is your favorite food? So food is a thing, right? So tell me, Brenda Quintanilla, what is your favorite food? In my case, my favorite food is Chinese food. What about you? What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite my favorite my favorite 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 my favorite uh, is my favorite food food comida my favorite comida. food aha good is maybe chinese food mexican food you can say tacos pupusas uh, my favorite is my favorite pupusas. my favorite food my favorite food pupusas is pupusas is pupusas is pupusas that's good. All right. Now let's see. Jensi, Jensi Alexandra. What is your favorite food? Um, Sharia, my favorite food is camarones al ají. That's good. So you like shrimp. Excellent. That's delicious. You like shrimp. That's good. What about Oscar? Oscar, what is your favorite food? Okay, uh, my favorite food is Mike. chicken salad. Uh -huh. Chicken salad. Yeah, that's right. Chicken salad. That's good. Like in Pollo Campero, right? They make good chicken salad. <laughs> good. That's delicious. Good. <laughs> Miguel Antonio. Chicken. So like chicken, right? Okay, that's good. Yes. Miguel Antonio, what about you? What is your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food, uh, food Mexican. Is Mexican food. My favorite food Mexican is food. Mexican food. All right, yes. that's good. Nice. You like tacos, burritos. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. Nice. Now, the next WH, they are very delicious, of course. We have the WH word, when. And when investigates about the timing, that's why we have here the clock. It is used to ask about the time or duration. For example, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? In that case, you can enter like this. Formulate the question. When is your birthday? We have the birth to be. 
My no birthday. es tu cumpleaños. Exactly, that's good. Is on, in my case, is on April 29. That is in my case. My birthday is on April 29. What about you? Veronica, when is your birthday? My birthday is um, 9 the of April. Ah, on April 9. On April 9. Okay, we have a specific date there. That's good. Okay, now let's see Angelica. Angelica, when is your birthday? Um, my birthday is on April um, uh, 17. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say 17? Remember. 17. 17. 17. That's correct. On April 17. Okay, that's good. Now let's see. Carlos Arturo. Carlos Arturo, when is your birthday? My birthday is on March 27. On March 27, very good, nice. Kevin, when is your birthday? My birthday, my birthday is uh -huh. on October 16. October 16. 16, you mean this one? 16? Yes. Yeah, that number? Okay, that's good. Now let's see. Jancy Ramos, when is your birthday? Jancy, are you there, Jancy? No? Luis Antonio, when is your birthday? Tengo mal el inter. Bad connection. <ríe> Hay problemas con la conexión, ¿verdad? Ok, no worry. Luis Antonio, ¿estás ahí? Tengo mala conexión, me está sacando a cada rato. Ups. Sí, está fallando en, en varias partes de, del país. A ver qué pasa. Las lluvias no han dejado bien, la verdad. Poquito ha llovido, pero ha dejado caos. Cierto, cierto. Yes. Se escucha a veces como cortado también. Ok. Then let's continue with the next part. With where. In the case of where, this one investigates the area. But it is used to ask about the location or place. For example, where is the nearest supermarket? Nearest, that means el más cercano. So where is the nearest supermarket? Mm -hmm. Or for example, when you investigate, where is the university? You can say, ah, the university is uh, in front of my house. Remember, you can use like uh, also prepositions of place. The university is next to the pharmacy or in front of the hospital. You can use different manners. So, what about if you investigate, where is Casa Presidencial? Where is it? Is it Santa Ana or is it El Salvador? Where is it? Repeat. Where is Casa Presidencial? Como es un nombre propio, no se debe de traducir, entonces se menciona tal y como es el nombre. So where is Casa Presidencial? In Santa Ana or in San Salvador? In San Salvador. In San Salvador, that's correct. It's in San Salvador, that's correct. Nice. Where is, let me see, Centro Histórico? Where is in it? In San Salvador. It's in San Salvador, right? Yes, we have it in the, in the mm -hmm. same place, the same area also. It's in the city. Now let's see with yeah. why. When we investigate with why, is look for a reason, right? It is used to ask about the reason, purpose, or cause. For example, why are you upset? Remember, upset that means molesto. Investigate reason why. 
Why are you happy? I am happy because it is my birthday, for example. Or I am happy because uh, I buy my favorite food. Or I am happy because I have a pet. So you look for a reason, right? Now let's see with how. Significa upset. Upset, molesto. Upset. ¿Por qué estás molesto? Um, Why upset. are you upset? Why are you upset? Why are you uh, happy? Why are you sad? Right? So, but you investigate about the reason or something. Now let's see with how. How investigates the manner. It is used to ask about the method or way. So it's the manner of something. For example, how old are you? It's like the question, right? We ask, how old are you? You say, I am 25 years old. I am 30 years old. Or you can also ask, like, uh, how are you? Like, that's another question. How are you today? How are you today? And you say, I'm fine. I'm very good. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm great. So you can investigate about the manner. The manner how a person is, right? All of those. What about which? Which investigate a specific things? For example, like this. Well, the definition it says it is used to ask about a specific choice or selection. So investiga acerca de algo en específico. ¿Cuál? For example, which is your car? What is your car? Which is your car? Is your red car? ¿Cuál es tu carro? ¿Es el rojo o es el carro rojo? So it makes the specific thing. Which is your favorite song? ¿Cuál es tu canción favorita? Which is your favorite song? You can ask like that. Which is your favorite song? How can you answer that? What is your canción favorita? Which is your favorite song? Do you have a favorite song? René, do you have a favorite song? Which is your favorite song? My favorite song is. Tengo muchas. You have a lot. Okay. <laughs> Mention one, only one. Bien. Volcán de José José. Ah, okay. That's a good song. Volcán. That's the name of Right? So in there, you are mentioning the specific name of the song, right? So you're having it there. So that's a specific song that you have. Now let's say, Lucy Reyes, which is your favorite song? Um, My favorite song is... is... Cuando una mujer. Ah, okay, that's good. That is the name, the specific name of the song. That's good, yes. Oscar Mesa, now tell me, which is your favorite color? Okay, my favorite color is blue navy. Oh, that's good. That's very good color. Nice. What about you, Brenda? Which is your favorite color? My favorite, my favorite is yellow. My favorite color. My favorite is my favorite color. favorite color. Favorite color yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. All right. It's yellow. Very good job. That's nice. Okay. So we have here with different WH words. And we investigate different and specific information here. 
But this, we're going to continue it tomorrow. Okay? Mañana vamos a continuar con esto. Because we need to... Eh, yo yo tengo time. una pregunta, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Eh, eh, de lo que es este, los ejercicios, hay uno que no pude encontrar la respuesta cuando pregunta, este, eh, hay uno que si pregunta, una parte que pregunta si son para, para escribir el, con I, por, por lo menos este, eh, I am esto, esto y lo otro, pero la parte donde, donde hace como cuestionativo cuando dice este, soy yo un un hombre dice en inglés, pero cuando uno le tiene que poner, creo que le pone I, 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 uh, amen, pero si, no sé si esa será la respuesta correcta porque no me lo agarra. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Maybe it's contraction. Acuérdense que uh -huh. cuando queremos poner una contracción hay que ser bien cuidadoso con los símbolos. Uh -huh. Porque el, el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Hay varios símbolos que son bien similares a esos. Entonces hay que probar con, uh -huh. con diferentes o lo pone completo, puede poner I am para no utilizar la, la, el apóstrofe. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Es manera, que hay uno que es como, es como al revés, que pone primero I'm, I. Ah, entonces es pregunta. Uh -huh. Ajá, Ajá, como una pregunta a sí mismo, ¿verdad? Algo así. Como, como decir, seré o so, soy, soy, soy. Un, un, soy like, un hombre, dice yo. Am I. Uh -huh. like, am, I. Uh -huh. Ajá. am I a student? Am I a teacher? Si es una pregunta, yo lo he puesto, okay. ajá, yo lo he puesto así, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, 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 pero no, no lo agarra, no oh. se sale como que está incorrecto cuando lo, le o pongo check, es, chequear. O mm. tal vez el, el espaciado, también el espaciado, o sea, tiene que ir exactamente la palabra que cabe ahí, si ya lleva mm. un espacio, o sea, antes de la palabra o después, también se lo va a tomar como erróneo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Solo de poner I'm. I'm. Solo de Ajá. poner I'm. Am. 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 Y luego el uh -huh. sujeto. Si es que es una pregunta. Sí, sí, es una, como una pregunta, una Ajá. cuestionativa. Uh -huh. Están unos afirmativos, están unos este, eh, negativos y está uno este, cuestionativo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como question, okay. dice ahí. Uh -huh. Pruebe de esa manera. Tal vez debe de ser el espaciado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, porque yo estoy este, tratando de ir poco a poco completando eso para ir este, uno familiarizándose eh, con, con todo lo que nos está enseñando, porque sí es bueno bastante repasar, ¿verdad? Para Ajá, así estar sí. uno al día. Exacto, uh -huh. sí, ayuda bastante, buen refuerzo. Ajá, y la palabra que está aquí en, el, en, en estas preguntas, este, donde dice how, la parte de how, donde dice method, donde dice is, It is used to ask about the method or way. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa method? Method. Método. Method. Uh -huh. Es método. About the method. Mm, se dice, y se dice method. Así. Method. 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 Ah, con, como con Z, ¿verdad? Method. Ajá. La TH junta suena como una Z. Si es method. Ah, sí, sí. Igual que 30. Ajá. Exactly. Ajá. Siempre TH decir... junta suena como una Z. Ajá. O decir número 3 que dice 3, ¿verdad? Exactly, ajá. So you ah. say three, but three. Ajá. Three. Ajá. That ah, is okay. Method. Entonces, method. Method, okay. Method. Method. Uh -huh. method. Method way. Ah, method okay. Or way. Yes. That is the correct. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you thank very you, teacher. much. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful okay. night. We'll continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a beautiful night. night. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. The same for you. Take care. Have a nice night. Have a nice night. You too. Thank you. <laughs> see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow night.